Good morning. Welcome to Mott Pilates and Yoga. Today I've got a chair out um, and I want to go through my five favorite chair yoga poses. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to have to move this laptop down a little bit. Um, yeah, now you can see my chair. Any chair is going to work. Let's go ahead and get one out. Um, perfect poses for someone who just can't quite make it down to their mat. Um, and also for that person who sits long hours at an office, you know, in their office, sitting in their, their chair. So, um, I think for this, if you are in an office, sometimes our chairs tend to have wheels on the bottom. So just make sure you are in a chair that's pretty sturdy. Um, so my five favorite chair poses, starting sitting up nice and tall. So my feet are grounded. I'm just going to take a very simple twist. So kind of finding that yoga breath, easing into it. And actually, let's just stay here for a moment and do that. So inhale fully. Maybe hands on your belly so you can feel that you're breathing into your belly. So as you inhale again, just begin to sit up even taller. Feel the lengthening going on on your sides and your back. And then exhale, twisting to your right. So if you're doing this video right now, pretty fresh from waking up in the morning, you haven't really warmed up, um, then maybe you maybe just look out to the right side, depending on how um, warmed up you are. As you exhale, take that gaze back over your right shoulder. Every inhale, think about sitting up tall. Exhale, twisting deeper from your center. Good, and come back. Let's take an inhale, reach up to the sky. And exhale to your other side. Remember to pull your belly button as you twist. And release. So I've got um, armrests. I kind of think about armrests. Um, if you've got armrests, you can hold on to them. If not, you can just kind of place your hands on your knees. We're going to take a very simple seated cat and cow. So as you inhale, you're going to open up your chest, draw your shoulder blades together, gaze up, and then exhale, round. And and exhale. Take one more. And again, back to your nice posture, sitting up tall. All right, third exercise, pigeon. So I'm going to start that right ankle. I'm going to take it right over my left knee. And sitting up nice and tall, I'm going to take my right hand on my thigh, not my knee, and gently press my thigh down. My right foot is flexed. You can think about spreading those toes, sitting up tall. So this might be a lot of work right here. You're feeling it. If you need to take this a little step forward, you know, a little deeper, another step, then um, keep in contact with your chair. So keeping your glutes grounded, just start to slightly bend forward and notice what that does. Breathe. Great, and I'm just gonna round to come out of it. And we'll take a few breaths on the other side. And then sitting up nice and tall and noticing the difference. I am definitely tighter over here. I am um, working that out with lots of these stretches. Trying my best. All right, and release. All right, another favorite of mine, I actually just learned it. It's going to be with standing, but you're going to use your chair. So I'm going to stand with my right outer leg to the chair, and I'm going to take my right foot on the chair that knees bent. And then as I exhale, I'm just going to dive forward. It almost reminds me of a um, lizard pose, but I'm standing. So my right foot is staying grounded on the chair, all four corners. Definitely feeling this in inner thigh area, groin. Goal is not to hit the ground. It's not to touch it. It's just a fold. And release. And we'll repeat it on the other side. Nice and tall, big inhale, exhale, fold. 
And again, I am dealing with a lot of tightness on this side. So on my left side, I'm a lot closer to the ground. This feels just a little easier. Actually, I'm now touching the ground. <laughs> And carefully back up. And we're going to end with a variation of a down dog using the back of the chair. So holding on to the back of the chair, and I might actually turn my chair this way so you can see me. And this is definitely why you want a little a chair that's a little bit more supportive. And I'm going to start to back up. Okay, so my hands are just resting. And then I'm going to start to bend, um, press my chest towards my sides, leave my head hanging between my arms, very much like a down dog. So I'm feeling that all the way along the back of my legs. My heels are grounded, feet are grounded. So it gives you uh, what that feels like, that you know you might not get your heels down in a down dog, but you will definitely hear soft knees. You feel a lengthening in your arms and your back. And I'm bending my knees to carefully come up. All right, and those are my five favorite moves using a chair. I hope you enjoy that. Comment below, just let me know how that goes. And um, have a great day. See you next time. Thanks.